Hello, I'm going to show you a common issue in Rive and how to solve it. The issue is based on how position is calculated. So here I have two layers. I have a ball and a shadow. And I'm animating the ball's position and the shadow's scale. I am not animating the shadow's position. This will be important later. Now let's say I want to change my design. I want to put these two layers in a group, command G. As you can see, the design looks exactly the same. However, if I open my animation, you'll see that the ball is now down here. Why is this? Well, it's all about how origin affects position. Here I have a square. Its position is 250 pixels on the x-axis and 250 pixels on the y-axis. But what do these numbers actually mean? Well, this square's origin is 250 pixels on the x-axis and 250 pixels on the y-axis away from its parent's origin. In this case, the square's parent is the artboard itself. As you can see, the artboard's origin is up here. Which is why if I were to change the artboard's origin to the middle of the artboard, the square is moved by an equal amount, even though its position values have not changed. Because, once again, a layer's positional values represent the difference between its origin and its parent's origin. Now I'm going to set the artboard's origin back to zero and show you how putting this layer in a group will affect its positional values. So as you know, it's 250 by 250. Command G, I'm going to open up this group. And now the square's parent is no longer the artboard, it is now the group, meaning that its parent's origin isn't up here anymore, it is now down here. However, the square is still exactly where it was, which means that its positional values must have changed. And that's what Rive has done. It has changed its positional values to zero by zero. Now let's move the square out of this group. I'm just going to delete the group. And as you can see, its positional values are back to 250 by 250 because once again, its parent is the artboard. Now let me show you how animation affects this change. So I'm going to open up animate mode and I'm going to set these positional values as keyframes. If I go back into design mode and put this in a group, you'll see once again the square's position has changed to zero by zero. However, if I were to open up animate mode and activate those keyframes, the square is now 250 pixels on the x-axis and 250 pixels on the y-axis away from its parent's origin. This is exactly what happened to the ball. Since I'd set positional keyframes for the ball, but not the shadow, when I put both layers in a group, that meant that their parent layer now has a new origin. And so any positional keyframes are now setting the distance between the ball and its new parent's origin. A simple solution to this problem would be that instead of creating a group by highlighting your layers and tapping Command G, you instead tap G to create an empty group and put this empty group's position at the same location as the origin of the parent that you're replacing. So in this instance, this group is replacing the artboard as the parent, and its origin is at 0 by 0. So I'll change the group's position to 0 by 0, and I can put these two layers within that group, and when I press play, the animation is exactly the same. But of course, the simplest solution of all is to plan your design out before you even start animating. This way, you won't run into any issues like this.